Okay, so we're going to continue on with our discussions about project here. And I want to talk about milestones. Now, a long time ago, I did a video about this. People said I was long-winded, long uh, which I might be. They're, they could be very correct. But I feel like milestones, there's a few things to talk about rather than just how to create them. So if you want to know how to create them, just skip to the end of the video and we can kind of get through all this uh, other stuff. So a milestone in a project schedule is an event. Uh, and this can mark anything. This could mark a completion of a work or a completion of a group of work. It could mark a delivery date. It could mark the start of your project deliverables, the end of your project deliverables. So it's used as a marker. And the more milestones you put throughout your project, the easier it is to see where you're at, how you're accomplishing these different areas or reaching these different goals, reaching these different milestones. Now, in project, to create a milestone, there are couple simple ways to do this. So uh, the first way and the way I've been using since essentially project 98 is I would just put in a duration of zero. So I type in the task name, whatever I want to call the milestone, put a duration of zero. As you can see, we get the milestone. In the newer versions of project, you could actually use the insert milestone option. Now this is on the task tab. And this will always insert the milestone above the task you have selected. So if I wanted to put a milestone between task one and two, if I click task two on the task tab over in the insert group, there's milestone and it inserts the task for you. It essentially does the same thing we did. It just does it in one click. Let me get rid of that. <clears throat> the last way I want to show you uh, how to create a milestone is actually creating a milestone that has a built-in duration. Now there's a couple reasons for this. So let me just put a milestone at the top here. Okay, it's zero days. Now, let's say I wanted this milestone to fire or occur 10 days after the start of my project, okay? Or this could be 10 days after it was linked to a task. It could be anything like that, but I want to see that this duration is indicated as 10 days. Now, as soon as I do a 10 day duration, that milestone then becomes a task, work associated with it. I don't want that. I just wanna say, this is a milestone that will fire 10 days after its start date. So I want it to have a duration of 10 days here. I don't wanna use lead and lag time because that won't be that apparent, let's say, um, in my actual data. It'll show it on the Gantt chart, but I can't actually quantify it as 10 days without doing some investigating. So here's what you do. You put it in the milestone, you give it a duration. It's currently a task. If you then double click the milestone and you go to the advanced tab in task information, there's an option here that says mark as milestone. And this won't set the duration back down to zero. It'll leave it at 10 days. So I can actually have this milestone firing an exact number of days from its start date. And this can be really beneficial in a lot of different projects. Um, so if I associate resources or work with this, it doesn't calculate based on the 10 days, it's a milestone. It just fires on that last day. So there you have some information about milestones. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long-winded that time. 